All right, three best players Browns must re-sign in free agency. This is uh, according to clutchpoints.com. So they say Jadavian Clowney, one, David Njoku, two, Malik McDowell, three. What are your thoughts? And um, I'm all in on Clowney. I hope they find a way to keep him here. You and me both. I mean, it's clear just how great Garrett and Clowney were. I thought, you know, they complemented each other very well. And I think playing alongside Miles Garrett helped unlock Jadavian Clowney's potential. I mean, he's not a guy that's going to get a lot of sacks, but as a, as an edge center, as a run defender from that defensive end spot, he was about as good as you could ask for, and he played a big role in why the Browns had one of the better run defenses in the league. And, I mean, he's going to cost a little more money, but again, with the way the salary cap's going up, you can uh, that's a move I think the Browns can afford to make. You know, bring keep him for three more years, especially if he stays healthy, he's really, really good and does a great, he's a great fit for this defense. And Najoku as well at that second spot is a good decision is a good one. He really, you know, had some moments. I thought he was underutilized. The game against the Chargers shows you what he can do when he's involved more in the offense. They have to figure a way to, to make him a bigger part of the offense. If they keep him around in 2022, Malik McDowell, Malik McDowell as well. You know, especially in that first game against the Chiefs, he was tremendous. Um, you know, I think he was kind of up and down. But then again, this was really his first NFL season, and there were a lot of things to like about the way he played. So there, there's plenty of reason to keep all three guys around. I think if you obviously have to prioritize, that's a good order in which to prioritize potential re-signings.